I guess my perception of myself afterwards was just like, I don't, almost like a, a car wreck or something where it was just kind of like every, all these things just happened to me and I was just, you know, torn apart and I look completely different. Um, so it was like just so important to me to find that confidence afterwards because um, it just wasn't there naturally anymore. Body image has a great deal to do with how a woman feels about herself, her sense of self, her self-confidence, um, and her self-image overall, not just with her body, but just with uh, how she feels about herself in a more global way. It, it wasn't the number one thing on my mind. I was more worried about keeping myself healthy and staying alive, but it definitely is another piece to the puzzle of something you have to deal with emotionally going through this. A woman's body is assaulted in so many ways when she's diagnosed with breast cancer, from the invasiveness of the medical exams, chemotherapy and how that affects a woman's body, and radiation and how that can affect a woman's body. So even when the surgeries aren't uh, as significant, like a lumpectomy, that can have such a significant effect on how a woman sees herself um, and, and therefore how she feels about herself. Even if clothes fit, I just didn't feel like myself because for somebody my height, 20 pounds, is a lot. So that's why I really want to get back down to the pre-cancer weight, um, not only to look like myself, but just to feel like I used to feel. Uh, individuals may feel like they have they very frequently have gained weight, uh, their shape is different, uh, they're, they look in the mirror and don't see themselves in the same way. I didn't realize that when you have a mastectomy, a lot of times you don't get to keep your nipples. Uh, so that was really interesting to me. It's a lot of adjusting because you have to get used to a new look and finding the confidence in yourself that you had beforehand with different aspects of your body. It's interesting because I've always had a lifelong conflict, concern about my breasts. I've always had large breasts my whole life. And so it's always kind of been the first thing guys would see when we were dating. And I always kind of hated that about them. Oftentimes young women who come to the experience of breast cancer already have a negative view of their body. The experience then of surgery, chemotherapy, the fatigue uh, complicates that sense of, of self. You know, I was pretty upset. Um, I didn't really want to go out in public as much. Um, and I was one of those girls who always had my wig on whenever anyone else was around. Um, I think there was only a handful of people I showed my bald head to. I've had all these physical changes that were out of my control, and now I'm trying to catch up and, and play catch up and have to work a lot harder to try to feel as good about myself body image wise as I did before. And I guess that's just something I took for granted before that I didn't have to really worry about it. I actually um, unfortunately have a scar that looks a little bit like an areola and it's just high enough that when I wear a low cut shirt, it's always out. And so I had a guy at a bar sort of make fun of me last night because he was like, your boob has been out all night. And I was like, oh, that's actually a scar. And I don't even have nipples anymore uh, since the cancer took them. <laughs> so I try to, you know, make it a little jokey, but also don't take any of that for a minute. Don't let anybody disrespect you or make you feel badly about the way that your body looks because that's not gonna be healthy for you. So body image was never something that was really brought up with a health professional. Um, and I also feel that they might have been uncomfortable bringing it up to me. If their concerns are reaching a point where they're feeling very anxious, feeling depressed, we really want them to reach out and talk with a professional who, who can help them with good evidence-based options to improve their well-being. There are many providers out there that do have a specialization in body image or a specialization in working with people with cancer where this is a really common issue. As a young woman, personally, I had no family history of breast cancer, so I didn't really have anybody in my immediate circle that I could turn to. And to be able to talk with a professional about these issues and somebody who has tips and tricks for how to deal with things and can help you get your anxiety and or depression under control can be extremely helpful. Young women with breast cancer have an enormous amount of courage and resilience to navigate the diagnosis, the treatment, and after, 
uh, the late effects and to take that energy and that they might have in being critical or frustrated with their body and use it to uh, support positive coping. One of the things that I always talk to young women about uh, when it comes to body image is that this is a process um, and that this is going to take some time and that in order to adjust to the changes in your body you've got to give yourself a little bit of time to heal both physically and emotionally. I think being a physical therapist has been a, a great asset for me because I already know the importance of staying active and exercise and I try to always practice what I preach to my patients. Eating well, uh, limiting alcohol, and uh, taking good steps at uh, dressing in a way that feels good. Those aren't just band-aids. They help us feel better. Uh, it's actually great if women can continue to exercise through treatment. It's shown to be very beneficial for women in terms of handling side effects. Um, but even if they didn't exercise through treatment and even if they've never exercised, to begin an exercise regimen after treatment for overall health, um, not necessarily for weight loss, although we all know that it helps with weight loss, but for overall health um, in terms of your medical health and in terms of your mental health. When I physically feel better, then I feel better about my body image. I think it's the times that you go through that you're feeling down and depressed and bummed out that then it's easy to pile it on like, oh, and now I look terrible and I have these scars. But when I feel good and I'm around friends and I laugh and I do those other things that make me happy, then... I'm not as concerned about my body image. The oncology social worker knows everything. They have all the information about programs that have free exercise, free nutrition classes, the art therapy, the dance therapy. Those were the things to help you if you need financial help and also with your body image. As a young woman, I used to be really ashamed of one aspect of my body or the other. And then after seeing my body go through these transformations, I now look at myself as somebody who is resilient and my body as sort of an amazing you know, thing, this structure that can go through all of this and come out uh, better on the other end. Um, and so I would say that now I view myself as stronger than I would have before. I have a little bit more respect for myself. <laughs>